the Blue Hole's victims are all young and healthy men. There is only one exception, Barbara. Her death holds no mystery, only tragic coincidence. The first day I worked in, um, on the counter in, um, in Club Red, um, on the, um, working as a dive master, there was an accident uh, with an Argentinian girl and they came to, um, came to our club. This particular club had a lot of people that were, were uh, good on um, trained diving paramedics or diving medics. And we, we had a, a lot of association with every accident that happened in the, in the boo hole that it all came to us. And it started on day one, day, the first day in the office. There was a, a truck pulled up with a, an Argentinian girl on the back. She blew her lungs and um, he came up panicked. He came up really fast. and. Um, yeah, we, we bundled her into an ambulance on the way to Sham, and she, um, she died on the route. Um, everything went wrong on, on the way to Sham. We, we were free-flowing oxygen in, um, into her at, to, when she first came to us, but the bottles have like half an hour capacity, so they, they, the oxygen ran out. And in the ambulance, there were four more bottles of oxygen, and we turned them on, and they were all empty. And then on the way to Sham, about 40 minutes past the police checkpoint on the way to Shamal Check to the chamber where we tried to get this girl, um, the ambulance ran out of petrol. So we jumped out of the ambulance, flagged down a car, the car was sent back to Dahab, uh, came back an hour later with fuel, and um, yeah, by then it was too late. And um, we, got it to, we did CPR and EAR on the, on the girl the whole way through um, to, to Shamal Check. But, yeah, she was dead by the time we got to Sharp. She remains the only woman whose death is linked to the Blue Hole, the only one among well over 100 deaths. <laughs>